So like you're fighting a right-hander, right? What you can do is you go that way, jab that way. Now when you go this way, you're shooting it on this side, which brings me to bring my hand out here. See, then you're gonna go and step. So you're going, you're going here, you're going there. See what I just did? Not turn it back over right into that body. So you're going here, you're going here, and then you're going there. Today's video, I'm gonna go over a way to use your jab, okay? This is a video about how to use your jab and ways to set up punches off your jab. And this is a great video for you trainers out there and for you fighters out there as well, because I'm gonna cover it a couple different ways. I'm gonna cover it as a southpaw fighting a southpaw, a right-hander fighting a right-hander, and also an orthodox fighter fighting a southpaw and a southpaw fighter fighting an orthodox fighter. So then I got Siobhan who's a southpaw and I got Danny who's a right-hander. So we're gonna go orthodox against southpaw to start this, start this off, okay? And show you, so he's gonna, use, he's gonna use his jab to the head off of two different angles and then he's gonna throw his third jab to the body. So the way it looks on the pads is he's gonna throw a jab and what he's doing, that's right, he's gonna throw his traditional jab. He's twisting his waist as a southpaw, he's turning his waist counterclockwise. And he's, when he's doing that, he's setting, up his, he's setting up that left hand. Every punch sets up the next punch. Every twist sets up the next punch. And every punch, if you do it properly, hides the next punch. And that's why I have my instructional videos to, to teach you guys the body mechanics on all these punches, the footwork. And that's why you're able to synchronize. If you develop this, you're able to synchronize offense and defense together, and you're able to hide punches and set up every punch. At, when you throw one punch, it's setting up another, okay? So Siobhan is gonna, he, what he's gonna do with this is he's gonna jab me to the head with a traditional turnover jab, and then he's going to turn his waist clockwise, and that's it, right there. And he's not gonna try to, he's not gonna bring his head forward like that and lean. He's gonna twist his waist. He is going, okay, from west to east. He's going counterclockwise, I mean clockwise with his waist, and he's gonna throw another jab under. Then he's going to throw a jab to the body and step right left with his feet and then he's able to step with his left, throw a left hand down the middle with the right hook. And actually when he does that, the footwork, he's going to step with those punches again. So he could, he could step with those punches again anyways. He could go here, he could go here, he steps down, now he steps and throws his left hand and his right hook off the punch as well. So we're going to go jab, under, there, that's it. Okay, so he's going jab, Jab, good. What I'm gonna show you guys is where those punches are placed if you're fighting a guy. Because a lot of people know how to throw punches, but they, you know, the body mechanics are not right. I mean, they throw punches. I won't say they're, you know, no one's perfect, but the body mechanics are not right. And they're not realizing when they fight where they're really supposed to land the punches. So I'm gonna show you today where you're supposed to land the punches. Or at least this, for this drill, I mean, for this uh, example, where you, can, where you can land the punches. There's other ways of throwing, doing this as well. But the way he's going to do it on this one is he's going to throw one jab here. He's going right down the middle between my gloves as if I'm an orthodox fighter. When he dips that way, he's going to throw it on the outside of my glove, okay? Now, he could also throw, don't get me wrong, he could throw that jab through the gloves, and he could dip that way and throw the glove, jab through the gloves as well. But what we're trying to create is that opening to the jab to the body on this one a little bit better. Okay, so we, I'm, I'm making him mix it up where he's, I'm throwing a jab and he's bringing his, I'm bringing my hands in when I get, if I get hit down the middle, I bring my hands in here. Then when he dips that way, he throws that jab on the outside. My next reaction, he's mixing that jab up, is for me to bring my hand out here to defend because he came over this way. So when I open or look or look or open, bring my hand back over here to defend, he's opening a jab right back down the middle to my belly and then he's coming and he's dropping his level and he's making me look down and then he's coming right back with a left hand to my head and a right hook, okay? So the way he's mixing that up is he, he is throwing a jab in the middle between the gloves, then he's dipping that, throwing it outside the gloves and then he's coming back up the middle and then he's coming out back up the middle and back with a hook, okay? So as soon as he throws that jab to the body, why that left hand is gonna be created is because when he hits me down the middle there, he's coming right back with that left hand it is, like I said, it's a one-two combination, body and back to the head. And when he hits me to the body, he's going to drop me down and make me look down as well. And then the left hand's coming right back over the top. So on the pads, it's going here, 
here, here, here, here. That's it. See, so he's going one, two. Good. Good. Sit. See, make sure that you do, do is that you're moving your feet. If you have to move your feet, you got to move your feet so you don't get yourself spread out when you're throwing. Like when he's throwing that left hand, he doesn't want to get spread out when he comes back to the head. So I'm trying to watch his feet where he's going here, here, here. That was it. See, he brought his, so we go slow with that. He's going step there, and then he's stepping there, and then he's stepping there. See what he did? When he went to the body, he went there, and then he could step again. He could step again. When he jabs there, then he could step. That's it. So he's going here, here. Right, he did, he did that real nice, actually. He, he synchronized both steps, uh, that step to set up his left hand with his jab. Okay, he could do it like that. See, that time he, did, he, he threw the jab and then he brought the, brought the left foot. So that's the better way to do it because you're going to get off quicker like that. Okay, so in other words, he's going here. He's going here. When he jabs, see, that, that's really when you jab, then you're, bring, you're already bringing the left hand when you bring the foot. See, right there he threw the jab and he slid his left foot up. Then he's in position to throw the left hand. But he could throw that left hand to the body. I mean, that left hand to the head right off. So he's go, if you go slow... Now when he goes here, it's, then it's going to come at the same time. That's it. See that? So the jab's coming, so it would be a one-two like this. Just a one-two right here. You're going, bop, bop. That's it, like that. Like that. Jab's going to the body. That's it. So it's jab up to the head. So I'm going here, like that. All right, so I'm going here, here. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. Now I go a little faster with it. That's it. Turn that left toe on that left hand. That's it. Left hand turn. Good. Go it again. Boom, 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 boom. A little bit more foot turn. If you get too wide, then you can't turn the foot. See? Boom, boom, boom. That's better. Do it again. One, two, Beautiful. Okay. And it's good, to, like I said, go slow with these moves, then go faster, then you might go back slower. As you look at the footwork, you need to correct it, go back slow, then go back fast again. If it's Trevon starting against another softball, where the place of these punches would be. Okay, so if he's fighting another softball, he could throw those punches between the gloves. Okay? So he could throw it there, dip that way, go there. Okay? Or what he could do. If he wants to create that jab to the body, what he could do is he could throw that jab in the center and then just throw that jab on this side of my glove from there just so he can get me to go out like that and then he's going to shoot it right back down to the body. And that's kind of what we're doing with that drill. We're throwing things on the inside, outside, and going right back down the middle. So if he's fighting another softball, he could throw it through the gloves, throw the next one over there so I, go to, so I, I even turn this way. If I turn this angle right here, then he's able to turn that jab right back down into my body, okay? So as Danny's doing it as a right-hander, Danny is going to throw. If we show Danny throwing it against the southpaw first, what Danny's going to be doing is Danny would throw a jab through the middle, and then he could throw a jab to the outside to bring my hands, and then he's going to go up there and then come back up the middle and throw the hook, okay? If Danny's fighting another right-hander, Danny could throw it down the middle, then he could throw it over there. Say, even if he didn't try to hit me, maybe he's just trying to open that jab up. He could shoot it through my gloves as well. He could throw and shoot it through the gloves, okay? And then, and because he's shooting it through the gloves, he could still just drop down and throw that jab, okay? You just continue to be creative and try to work things. There's all kinds of ways of doing things, okay? But the way he could try to do is if he throws a jab there, he could throw a jab right to my hand out here just to get me to defend out here so he could really hammer a jab because what will happen is if I throw the jab, he throws the jab here and then I go that way and I throw the jab here and I see him and I might turn like this or I might turn like this. But if I, even if I turn like this, okay, I am opening up my core so where he can turn me right back into that, okay? So either way, if, if I go, if, if he throws the jab here and I go out this way, and I, and, I, and I go off this way, then I'm turning myself into the jab exactly, I'm, but, I, but I could be smothered and throw the jab in my body from there. Boom, okay, and it's going to land here. If I go here, 
and he throws that jab out to the outside, and I kind of roll with it or whatever, okay? If I kind of roll or I kind of go down with it, even if I go down with it like you're supposed to do, not roll like this to set yourself up for a right hand, okay? If you go jab in here, throw the jab out to the outside, and if I go down like that, I still am open right here when he took, that's it, and then he's able to come from another angle. So it's just about mixing up the jab, finding those openings, creating the jab, creating those opens with the jab, and it's all about, like I said, shooting them from angles and different levels to be able to create, op create openings, okay? And that's what we're doing. I'm gonna hold the pad with the right hand to have him do this. He's gonna throw this here. He's gonna throw, he's gonna throw the jab here. He's gonna throw the jab there. Then he's gonna throw the jab down to the body. Then he's right, right back, throw the right hand on my right hand and a hook. So as a right-hander, what he's doing is he's throwing a jab here. That's it. One, two, three. So I'm holding, I'm catching two jabs with my right hand. I'm trying to keep everything in tight. I want to hold my hands all the way out here like this. So I'm holding my, I'm throwing a jab here. This one's here to, to catch the body shot. Jab. That's it. I got one here for the body shot. One here for the head shot. So he's going there, there, down. That's it. Turn the right hand more. Boom, 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 boom. Good. So you got to go down, just drop down a little bit more when you're throwing a body shot. So you make my eyes go down. So I'm going here, here, down. That's said, You want to go down up. See? Good. Turn on the right hand. He'll tell. See? Two ways. Boom, boom. Good. Beautiful. Okay, so that's something, like I said, you guys go and work on in the gym. Um, when he's turning that foot there on the right hand, he's got to make sure he's bringing his foot up. Okay? So in other words, we go a little slow there. He's going to go here, here. Right. So when he throws the jab to his right hand, my right hand, see, then he's going to go down. Now when he goes down, he's got to, that's it. He's got to bring that foot up at the same time. So it's one, two, three, four, five, right. So when I'm holding the pads for Danny as a right-hander, when, when, if, if I was working with him to fight a southpaw, it would be the same thing, okay? So as a right-hander, I'm holding here. And if I'm, if I'm training him to fight a southpaw, I could get in the southpaw stance, and I would still do the same thing where he's going to go here, here. Okay, so my right hand and my left hand's here. So he's going one, two, and I'm standing in the southpaw stance. So if I'm, if I'm working with Siobhan, what I'm doing with Siobhan is, if I'm, what I'm doing with him is, is if I'm a right-hander, and, 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 and I'm, I'm, fight, I'm fighting him as an orthodox fighter, I'm holding it with my left hand. And the right hand is what the body shot's going to go. So he's going there, 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 okay? And now if I'm training, if I'm fighting, if I'm practicing, I'm telling him he's going to be fighting another southpaw, I'm still going to do the same thing so he can, see, I'm just changing my feet, but I'm catching the pads with the same hand. That's it. One, two, good. One, two, beautiful, okay? So that's just, a, like I said, a really good vi uh, really good drill for you guys to take into the gym and work and how, learn how to set up, that, set up your punches with the jab. It's the greatest punch in boxing. People just think, just throw my jab, throw my jab. You gotta be able to create openings with it. I mean, you know, that's, that's why it's such a great punch because it does create openings if you know how to use it. So it's about levels, it's about angles, it's about speed changes with the jab. And um, that's just to give you guys one little thing we'll be coming. I'll be coming back out with a lot more with the jab as well. And I got an instructional video coming out with uh, eight variations of the jab and how to use it and why you do what you do with it. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tommy and Keller Boxing. And I'll see you guys next time. Try and test me, yeah, I'm outnumbered, but I won't lose no more, and that's the promise.
They say to make it, you gotta be patient. But I ain't got time to be wasted. 